video and yes you can see my little snack of pringles here in the corner so don't mind that at all because this might be a long video i'll be doing something that one of my friends recommended and um yeah i don't think it's gonna be amazing oh a bag of pens you can see like the bag here it will be testing every single color from this my amazing pen pack and yes we will soon do another video on my watercolor pencils as well and well let's get into it start with two colors one is like a mustardy kind of orange color and it's called fresh green yeah there's a problem with these colors yeah fine green guys write down in the comments does this look like fine green i don't see no fine green here let's test out this color we're just gonna put a little mark right here and yeah guys this is not fine green at all i don't see no fine green in that at all anyway moving on to the next color we have a number 84 pastel violet and oh yeah they have numbers on them so this one was 44 and this is number 84 pastel violet it does look a lot like a pastel violet and pastel violets are usually kind of like pink but I, what I've learned from this little collection is that not all colours can be what you seem. So it could say pastel violet on the outside and could be some random colour on the inside. But we are going to test this one. And it is actually a pastel violet in a way has a pink undertone and it does remind me of a little bit of a pastel violet don't know about you guys opinion but that's how we are rolling now i'm going to get another th whoa okay steady on camera i'm gonna get another three colors and we're gonna test these out so this is number 43 deep olive green it does look like an olive green to me and in my eyes it does but will it look like a whoa this is very 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 dark and i have used these pens for a while and i was meant to do this video but i completely forgot and whoa this is definitely a deep olive green because once as you can see with these pens once they dry you can see the actual color properly and yeah this is dark very dark and but you can see with the light that it is a deep olive green so yeah next we have number 22 french vermilion hmm looks like a familiar color looks a lot red compared to the lid i'm gonna mark that oh, you can kind of see that color i have not used stamps oh, i can't even speak english today i have not used some of this color Oh my, I have not used some of these colors, so it is a real shock to me to see what the actual colors look like. This is number 22, French Vermilion, if you like to see it again. And well, let's get on to the next color. So, the next color here we have is a number 46. 
why vid no it was not wild green it's vivid green so number 46 vivid green we are just going to try this yeah actually ah, looks okay it's like a grassy color vivid green is usually meant to be a very like type of grassy color now I'm just gonna get to these pens very quickly so in this set you do have these sort of pens this is a fiber pen so this is just a complete okay um, a complete different um, pen to this and yeah this is just a fiber mark pen it just makes like small lines like that and it's good for outlining so i usually use this for the outlining and well yeah and this is just a highlight pen so you usually use white paint pens in a way to create a sort of highlight on drawing so as you can see it just i drew in the pink and it just releases some white ink in a way so that's these two special pens done and on to another whole collection so next we have number 77 pale blue and it actually has a blue undertone to it in a way but it actually reminds me of a grey let's try this whoa this is a uh, purple i'm gonna be using the broad sides for today so yeah it looks a lot like purple but does it come out like a purple yeah it kind of does i don't mind because now we technically have a very of different purple but yeah these are some good pens though and i do use i do use them and it's not like i don't use them and it's not like they're bad because they are not bad since i do use them and let's get you guys a better view of this i do use them and it's not like i don't use them because these have helped me a lot with my drawing so next we have number 13 scarlet and i have used this before so i am glad to well say that it matches as you can see and it is technically the exact same color so yeah next we have a hundred and number 131 skin white and let's test this one out yeah so usually with skin colors on pens they do are uh, they do have like a pe peachy type type of under i can't speak a peachy type of undertone and this does and it's not like i have not seen a peachy undertoned skin pen soul pen and i have so i'm technically kind of used to this color and while it's a beautiful peachy color especially for those little rosy cheeks that you might want to make and these pens if i li like i like to mention is um they are good for anime so if you like drawing loads of manga and anime characters these are good pens for you and next we have number 57 turquoise green light so it's a turquoise green but it's light um i have used this color on my zh um c drawing that i made i did leo michelle and um zach so i did use this color and this color does come out how it is and it is an amazing color i love it as well and 
Well, let's test it. It comes out a little bit like a dark green. But once you leave it for a bit, and if you don't overlay it too much so it goes dark, it actually has a very, very light turquoise in it. And it is a beautiful colour. So, I have no problems with this one. Next colour. We have a number 67 pastel blue. Um, well, there's nothing else for me to say. Let's test this. And this is a pastel blue and definitely does match my opinions on pastel blue. It has no problems with me and is good for maybe a sky or landscape sort of theme going on. So, for me, I give this a good yes. And next we do have a number 17 pastel pink and i'm not really a big fan of pastel pinks but i don't i'm not going to be using these um pinks a lot unless i'm doing a pink thing thing like um maybe when I was drawing Michelle for the humble house so yeah you do always need pink sometimes and this is definitely a pink I don't like sometimes you can call this a pastel pink sometimes you can't it all depends on how pastel you want it so I would say this is a pass and just saying guys this is a video not for criticism so i'm not criticizing the company i'm just testing these pens for you guys and for that one friend that really wanted me to test these pens out so yeah next bunch we are going through them a lot quicker than i thought in a way very much very quicker than i thought and well you can see a little peep of a pen right here and this is number 59 pale green and does that mean that this green is unlivingly like the tip is very dark if i do seem so myself but why not give it a try oh yeah it's very pale yeah as you can see it's next to the pastel pink it's very pale and dull pale doesn't mean light pale usually means sometimes dull or very lifeless sometimes it all depends on your way and meaning of pale so this is number 59 pale green and I have no problem with it. Moving on to the next colour. I have coral number 16 coral pink and I have definitely used this. Coral pink is actually not a bad colour and I actually have used it a lot. I feel like I've used it. I've used it for my watermelons. I've used it for a lot of my drawings and I feel like this could be a good color for you guys to use if you buy this pack. Let's get on with it. It kind of looks red to you but it depends on what type of material you do use this coral pink one but it's a beautiful color in real life this is probably just camera angles it does match a lot with the scarlet but it has its own little undertone to it and it does beautifully i drew watermelon on my wall and it came out like a proper coral pink and not as red as this so we are definitely in the right 
next color i do have is a turquoise blue and this is number 68 and let's give this one a little spin turquoise blue in my opinion i feel like that's a turquoise i don't know if this does not look like a turquoise but this is number 68 and i feel like it is a turquoise so we're gonna give it a pass next color i have is number one right at the top of the chart wine red and wine red you would expect to be very dark and a very gloomy sort of red i'm just going to pull the paper a bit back so we have a little bit more space to work with on the top there we go see look it kind of looks like a dark color because wine red you would expect to be a lot dark and more a bit have a brown undertone more than how would you usually think oh it's probably like a proper red just with a little bit of a different undertone or something you know wine reds are usually whoa are usually um a bit dark and gloomy and not in a rude way i would definitely use this wine red if i am doing another maybe drawing or a different design and yeah next color next color we have here is a pale lilac lilac i think lilac is a flower i'm not sure i'm not sure i think lilac is a flower and well this is number 147 so it should be like a pale purple mainly like the first one which was a pastel violet with a pink to it i see like a little pink leaking out so let's get on with it yeah very pale like pink in a way mainly looking a lot like pastel pink that we did or is that the pastel pink oh i think that's pastel pink and this is pastel violet yeah a lot like pastel violet looking very similar and well yeah next color we have looks like it should be oh i thought it was a skin color but it's salmon pink number 25 let's try this out yeah you could use this for skin color i feel like it's one of those um skin tone colors you could use very much like it's lid it matches a lovely skin color to use and well let's get on to the next one guys i think i'm talking a bit too much because we have 80 pens to get with and uh yeah we're gonna have a long time sitting down in this chair so next we have number 58 mint green light and i have used this one for zh c and that uh, collab not a collaboration i would always wish to collaborate with zhc but it's not a collaboration it was just that little fan art design thing that i did with myself and my choice to draw so let's get into it it does remind me a lot of zach from z h c and um it matches whoop um the the mint green because it's meant to be a little bit minty 
rather like a not really a Christmas green more than a minty type of greenish color so let's move on to the next one I need to stop talking a lot next we have number four vivid red and um, this color I think I have used now this is a color that everybody would expect um wine red to look like a lot more redder and uh, you would expect that color to look like that is a lovely color number four vivid red i think i have used it i'm not sure next we have what i don't know why this pen looks a bit smudgy on the Top, but we have number 75 dark blue light and um you can't really tell that this is dark blue um yeah doesn't really look like dark blue in my opinion but oh well we're just going to try it and it does have a purple nib and comes out a lot more purple but now we have another very of purple so technically we do still should enjoy it um next we have mint green now we did have mint green light for or was it turquoise no, we had a turquoise. Oh, yeah, we had mint green light. That was this one. And now we have mint green. And this is number 56. So let's go into it. Oh, and the last color, which was dark blue light, was number 75. Oh. Okay looks more like a Christmassy green which Christmas greens are usually mint greens so this is definitely a pass and well let's keep going I have a stack of pens that I've already done and it looks ridiculous right now 42 bronze green number 42 bronze green looks like I've never seen a bronze green before. I've never used bronze green. I've never heard there was a color bronze green. But, well, let's try it then for the first time. We're going to go a bit further down here. And, whoa, this looks a lot brownie. And green. It looks like a those dark green camo colors that you would use I'm not really sure I'm gonna use that a lot unless I create a camo character oh well next we have 62 marine blue looks like a dark navy blue a navy kind of goes with marine blue so let's try this one out marine blue matches its lid after it dries a little bit matches its lid there's no problem with it yeah next we have i don't know how to say that prussian Pru prussian blue and um well there's nothing else to say but let's try it looks a lot like a navy kind of dark blue i like that color i'll be using it a little bit more often hopefully because it looks like a good sort of color let's get another whole bunch we still have maybe two or three bunches to go oops let's make sure this bunch does not fall Okay, hopefully it won't fall. I'm going to start with the first one that you can see. This is a marigold. Duh. Marigold. 
I keep putting a pen outside of the camera by accident. Sorry. Um, this is Marigold number 24. Looks like a nice orange. Liking this color. Yeah, it looks like a mandarin orange. A very nice orange dad is. Next color we have is number 73 Ultramarine. Hmm. Does this mean that it's, yeah, maybe more of a purpley tone because it's ultramarine? Yeah, this is a purple. A very nice, vivid purple, as you can see. It looks a lot like purple, and it's not like the pale purples that we had. And just keep going. We have to get through this very quickly because I don't want to be here all day. Even though I have nothing else to do. Yeah. Number next we have number nine, pale pink. I thought we already had a pale pink. Oh no, we had a coral pink, a pastel pink, a pastel violet. Okay, we have not had pale pink. Okay. And boom. It reminds me of a Kind of like the coral pink that we were looking at just a bit lighter maybe another blush color and oh my god my mountains falling no because I have a mountain of markers of the ones I've used next we have number seven Cosmos this looks like a little corally color that we might use Yeah, it looks a lot like a coral pink. Paler undertone. Looks like. Now I just see a little row of pinks in my mountain. Nice colour. Next we have number 21, terracotta. Everybody should know that terracotta is a colour. Um... If you don't well there's a color called terracotta and it kind of looks like a coffee color in a way as you can see there is the color whoa these pens are kind of hard to close and it's looking like a nice coffee color that I will be using to create a coffee cup next we do have number g well number and letter g g five good game number five um it's called green gray green gray green gray looks like a gray maybe it will kind of be like this one where you wait for a bit and then the pink and then the green will like come out I don't know we are not sure next we have number 50 forest green and we are going to use it I'm going to use the fine side this time Yep, this definitely looks like a forest green. Yeah, maybe I might make it a little bit bigger for you guys. Looks a lot like a forest green, something you would use in the wilderness. And then after that, we have a BG3 blue grey. Ah! Maybe the letters mean the actual color, but just another version. Because there are another three bags of these colors. So maybe BG means blue gray number three. So, well, let's just get into it. Yeah, you can see. It has a little blue undertone to it. Next, we 
Next, we have number 89, Pale Purple. Then we have a Pale Purple. We had a Pale Blue. And a Pale Violet. And a Pale Pink. And a Pale Green. We never had a Pale Blue. I mean a Pale Purple. Number 89, Pale Purple. Looks a lot like a pink. Yes, it is a very hot pink. Very bright pink. If you're a big fan of pink and you like to be very glow up with your pink, that's a good colour for you. Next, we have number 23, orange. Very simple name. 23, orange. Just orange. Looks a lot like the colour orange, in my opinion. And next colour we have is warm grey. WG6. Yeah, this grey is a, like a normal grey. Looks kind of warm. Okay. Another bunch. We're nearly there, guys. We're getting there. Please do not leave this video. And if you do, don't forget to hit the like button. And, jeez. Whoa. I got a big pack. Okay. Next colour we do have is... Let me put this in focus is a vivid purple looks like a nice purple to use yeah nice purple very nice purple i'm gonna use this purple now for my next video and that's a secret for you guys to know next we have another vivid vivid pink maybe this might not be purple so we're not sure. Oof. Okay, this is definitely a pink. And it's very... Pow. And the pale purple does tone down after you've put it on your paper and you leave it to dry. Next, we have 35 lemon yellow. And this is a colour that I would definitely use. It looks exactly like a sort of lemony yellow. Next we have number 138, light pink. Guys, do you think that this page will probably fill up by the time we finish? Write down in the comments below. After pale pink, no, not pale pink, light pink, we have number 33, melon yellow. Melon yellow. Isn't a melon yellow meant to be really light? Yeah, no. I think a melon yellow is meant to be a little bit lighter. This reminds me of a mustardy yellow like that other mustard yellow that we had at the beginning of the video number 65 ice blue i have definitely used this color a lot like an icy blue Next we have number 37 pastel yellow this looks already like a pastel yellow from the coverage we're going to put it on the thing looks like it has a lime green undertone maybe when you leave it to dry it changes and it isn't really a limeish color next we have another skin color in a way rose beige number 97 and let's just pop that 
on here and yep definitely a coffee kind of color a color that i would use on skin maybe next we have number 140 light orange and let's just try this it looks like a nice peachy sort of cheek blush little color you would use after baby when you leave it to dry it will become a nice pale orange next we have number 31 dark yellow dark yellows are usually uh, i can't speak are usually like mustard whoa this is a very dark yellow i can see the yellow in there when i put the pen and i check the color but kind of looks very dark and not a mustardy color that i thought next we have number 94 brick brown and i can't wait to try this color because i want to use it as a skin tone if it isn't that bad and oh i might not use it as a skin tone because it is having a little reddish undertone okay we're gonna use the next color that just dropped so let's pick that up we have number 29 barely beige so it's not beige at all if it's barely beige let's check this out it has a very yellow tip and it is definitely barely beige looks a, a lot like it will match with the paper next we have number oh did i tell you barely beige is number 29 brick brown is number 94 in case i never said it next we have number 144 pale baby blue i actually don't mind baby blues yeah it looks like a pale baby blue in my in my eyes i definitely see a pale baby blue and i've made one pyramid so far i'm probably going to make another one and pale baby blue is at the top so the next starter is going to be number 70 royal blue Oop. I don't know why I agreed to do this with my friend because this is going to take a while it's for you my friend for you, you know who you are next we have number 63 Caroline Blue I think I think Remind me a lot of the ice blue. I'm trying to speed through this, people. Next, we have number 101 Dalmatians <laughs> Yellow Orchard. Well, Yellow Orchard because it doesn't have the D at the end. And this is a very fine pen. Hmm? And I did not put the lid on properly, so the lid flew. Okay, next color we have is number 14, Vermelon. Or Vermilion. Hmm, another watermelon color. In my eyes. Next, whoop, we are having another guest of number 76, Sky Blue. 
and um some of you guys know that the word sky means a lot to me so yeah if some of my friends are watching i have number 76 sky blue and whoa okay motorbike yeah you know when you have those clean animated sort of color it reminds me a lot so of that next we have number 81 deep violet looks a lot like a purple deep violet should be like a purple and yes it is here it is here look how many colors we've just gone through here it is here and i'm praying that my pen pyramid does not drop or else that would be horrible for me am i actually what? okay guys one moment please Okay guys, I am back. Um now we have number forty one olive green. There we have our olive green. Oh we have deep we have deep olive green. This looks darker. I don't know if it's gonna be an olive green. Yeah no, it reminds me a lot of one of those deep yellows or the but the next colour we have is number eighteen peach. Oh, I like when there's just a normal. This looks like a peach. I know what peach looks like. Number 53. Turquoise green. So not light turquoise green. Not dark turquoise green. Not turquoise blue. Turquoise green. Not pale turquoise green, turquoise green. Yeah, because turquoise is like a bluey, a bluey, um, well, a bluey greeny sort of colour. So turquoise green should be more green and less blue. That's what I would expect. I don't know. You drawing specialists and experts out there. Tell me if turquoise green is meant to be more green and less blue. Write down in the comments, please. That will be very helpful. Next, we have number 28, fruit pink. In real life, this looks like a fruity type of pink. On camera, this looks like a pale pink um yeah i'm not gonna open it as fierce yeah this is the pen because i don't want to open it as fierce and as hard as i did the last time in case there's an ink leakage Ooh. okay it looks a lot like the peach with the tip it is a bit darker than the peach Oof. Okay, here comes our soon to be second to last batch, it looks like. Yeah, second to last batch. Okay. This batch looks a lot like a skin and kind of different colour. Like dark sort of colour. I don't know. Um, next we have BG5, which is a blue grey. So a more bluish undertone then. Yeah, you can compare that to the normal grey. And the normal grey is grey, while this one has more of a blue undertone. You can see that a lot. Next we have number 104 brown 
Huh. Very light for a brown. And has a very green undertone. Hmm. Hmm. Makes me very inquisitive. Next we have another warm grey. Do we need to know this colour looks like? Yeah, just another sort of warm grey. And um, we have another green grey. I'm just going to show you the ones that are just different versions of the colour. Then we, do we have any more? I don't think so. So the next colour is 107 Sand. Yeah, I actually think sand has more of a yellowish feeling on that. I'm not sure. I think it's more yellowish sand. Anyway, next colour we have is 99 Bronze. So it's not metallic bronze, it's just a dark bronze. So I don't think it's bad because metal bronze is usually metallic and these aren't metallic pens they're just normal pens so bronze without metallicness should be like a brown should be like a brown next we have another type of warm gray this is a very dark version And then we have 135 Pale Sheng Pink. Pale Sheng Pink. Hmm. Pale Sheng Pink. Oh, yeah, you could definitely see that's a pink. Hmm. Yeah. Now we. Whoa. 172 Spectrum Green. I do not see green here. I see like a whitish, off whitish, beigeish, well, barely beige sort of green. I do not see a green in this, but we are going to try. Oh, the tip is green. It doesn't come out like green, but the tip was green. That's one thing. That kind of looks good on that. Okay, next we have number 91, Natural Oak. Yeah, not a bad colour. Looks really good there for a good try. Next we have number 183, Plateau Blue. Plateau Blue should be a very, very very tricky color to match i can see like it has so many different multi types of colors in it yeah because a plateau is kind of icy and so it depends on the type but for that to be a plateau blue that's a good 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 track i have not seen a plateau blue at all and guys last back and well, some of these I just get to show you, so you guys know what black looks like. So we have number 120 black. Then we have a cool grey. Have we looked at a cool grey? I don't think so. Anyway, I'm going to be very nice and generous and allow you guys to see the swatch of colour of cool grey. Oh, that looks like a black. It might turn out to be a little bit of a lighter grey in a way. Like, it will turn a bit lighter, I feel like. Next, we have BG7. Blue grey. Yeah, you can see that blue undertone. You can see the blue undertone in these bluey greys, which is grey. Next, we have number 61. Peacock green. Whoop. Hmm. 
after the peacock green we now have number 48 yellow green uh, if it has a yellow undertone or a yellow aftertone and um, i actually i can see that yellow i'll give it i will give it because i could see that little yellow that's just trying to peek out but you can't really see it next i have number 49 pastel green this looks like a pastel yellow it's very 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 light like if you go back to the video where we did pastel yellow this and that other lid look very similar anyway number 49 pastel green let's check this out uh, pastel green right uh how we looked like oh we've looked at pale green i was gonna say yeah i don't know i don't think i would call it a pastel green what would you call it guys anyway our next color is number 10 deep red yeah no this is some nice red i like this red i'm gonna use it i don't know how maybe when i do a cherry i'll use it next we have number three rose red rosy you'd expect a rose red to look like that and then we have number 36 cream and then we have this nice color that should keep my hopes up 47 grass green and the 36 cream looks a lot like a skin tone color that you could use now let's look at this grass green yeah a lot like grass to be honest it could be like a dark grass green I would say and finally last but not least number 167 green vice and let's just take this one real nice looks like a lime green very clearish see through it well guys we are finished and i have technically two towers of pens that now one tower has dropped but i love you guys so much thank you so much for watching me do 80 pens yeah an 80 pen swatch thank you so much for watching love you guys please do stay at home and stay safe we can get through this we can get through this together as long as you follow the rules where whatever is permitted in your country love you all guys don't forget to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that notification bell for so that you can get notified when I post another a new video. And as well as that, we want to get a few more people joining the fam. So please tell anybody you do know about this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit a like on this video and write down in the comments what video should i do next hope you guys enjoyed 
love you and i'll see you in the next one bye